broadcasting live from Hutchinson, Kansas. Call Jiggy right now. 267-22-JIGGY. He's realizing Jiggy Jaguar is better than me. So, right. I'm totally serious about that, too. Presenting Jiggy Jaguar. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I am not answering that phone call. They are going to wait. Holy smokes. It is the world famous Chicky Jaguar radio program. I wish that Google, Google voice and all of its crap. Oh my God. 48 minutes after the hour. Thanks for joining us on the stream. Thank God there is, there is, it's like they think we're doing a radio show today. This always happens when I go live on the stream, they call. It's like people are sitting there with tune in and they're going, oh crap, he's live. It is the world-famous Cheeky Jaguar radio program, coast-to-coast, border-to-border on TuneIn, iTunes, Radio Loyalty. Of course, selected editions will appear on iHeartRadio. This will appear on iHeartRadio. And uh, thanks for tuning in to the world-famous Cheeky Jaguar radio program. From the KJag Radio Studios, we are live as live can get. Monday through Friday, 2 Central, 3 Eastern, 12 Pacific, 1 PM Mountain Standard. And, of course, 24-7 at JiggyJaguar.com. And uh, our premium podcast, commercial free, is available at JiggyJaguar.info. Selected editions, as I mentioned, will appear on iHeartRadio. We are also taping this broadcast today on July 2nd, 2015, for uh, our friends at RadioZenu.com. And, of course, RadioZenu.com is the place to be uh, each and every Sunday, 2 Central, 3 Eastern, for two hours of the world-famous Cheeky Jaguar experience. And today we have uh, in studio... My lord, you have you you've you've got to get the whole experience today, sir. <laughs> the uh, we have my friend, Mr. Defunct Slade Templeton in the building. How are you, sir? I'm really good. You are you are the man when it comes to this whole uh, EDM and and I, I I guess you do rave parties according to the people at Hutchinson now. Yeah, it's a, it's totally different here, I guess, than how most people around the world view them. Uh, it's kind of a new. <laughs> New genre, thirty years late in Hutchinson. Thirty years late, yeah. yes, in Hutchinson. <laughs> now, uh, you're part of a uh, whole bunch of big events this weekend. Uh, also, you are since we're taping this for Radio Zenu. By the time this airs, those will be over. But tell us about um, what you do as far as your music and and everything else. How'd you get started doing the music thing? It's, kind of, it's, it's cool that I'll be able to talk about this being in my hometown right now. It, 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 <laughs> yes. it kind of has its, its place and very special place in my heart. Um, but I, I grew up here in Kansas and I was always listening to electronic music and I started producing it when I moved back from London. So first I lived in Seattle and then London for a year and a half. How did you, wait, 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 wait. How did you go from Seattle, Washington? I was just that good of a farmer. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm like, how do you go from Seattle to London? Well, how do you go to Kansas to Seattle? Well, uh, that's, a big <laughs> that's a pretty big jump. That's a pretty big jump, too, I was, baby. I was growing up here on electronic music, <laughs> and I, I was obsessed with music, and um, I wanted to go for audio production. So after I graduated Hutch High, I went to Seattle Art Institute to learn engineering and wow. audio. And then uh, from there, I I was doing music on my MySpace back then. I have maybe 15 oh, fans. Oh, MySpace. Good old I MySpace. remember MySpace. I have maybe yes. 15 fans, and this guy named Dean Garcia from London discovered me. And he's a bass player from Mick Jagger, Sinead O'Connor, The, the Eurythmics. Uh, he toured with Curve and opened for The Cure and stuff. And, Holy uh, smokes. Yeah, he's massive, right? And, and he heard my music, and we started a collaboration. And he plucked me out of the middle of Kansas at this point and moved me to London, England. So it was, it was kind of a, yeah, you know, people say, how the hell? Thing. I don't know, man. It was like right place, right time. And people always hear Right place, right time. Yeah. Holy smokes. Yeah. And right sound, I guess. But, um, so after that, you know, I, I moved back to Kansas for a bit and I started a project called Defunct, which was with a partner that I have from England and, uh, it's all dance music. And it's funny for me cause I was doing, um, the music and we were charting nonstop as producers and I've never been in a dance culture being from Kansas so I I started charting and I got booked for a tour in Canada and I had to write the, the great label. white no yeah I had to write the label, <laughs> the label we were listening with I was like so what do I do live and they're like dude you're supposed to DJ and I was like what's <laughs> DJing you know so I mean I was doing dance music as a writer but never knew what to do live so I had to never knew DJ what to do live months. 
six months before the tour, I had to learn to DJ. And since then, it's history, really. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So how does how does that offer come in? How did you know? Do you just get the phone call one day, or yeah? And then after that, it's it's, it's more and more different phone calls for different reasons. But yeah, that was that was I guess the big phone call to give me my start. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, the, the the big phone call. Now yeah. uh, we're gonna play some music here in a few. Tell me a little bit about. Uh, some of, some of this music that you do is absolutely amazing. Tell me about uh, Duck Breath. We're going to play that Duck here. Breath. That's cool because that one's a throwback to our 2008 style. We were known to pioneer a genre called Fidget House. Uh, fidget the, House? Fidget House. Yeah. What is Fidget House? Um, been, I, I feel like I'm such an idiot asking <laughs> some of these questions yeah. because I should know since we, we have a station called EDM Music Hub that plays electronic dance music and I'm... I should know <laughs> what fidget house <laughs> There are so is. <laughs> many genres of dance these days. But um, back when we started, it was just called, like, Dirty Electro or something. We didn't know what to call dirty it. Dirty Electro. Yeah, Dirty Electro House. And we didn't awesome. really know what to call it. And then um, <laughs> it became kind of a joke that it was just a bunch of fidgety house. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's great. So okay, the, the I get it now. On, and we did a track called Flashy Fidget Fame that immediately pinched to hold the term for this style. But this one's totally a new track that we threw back to our old roots just to kind of give our older fans a taste. Okay, well, we're going to play Duck Breath, and uh, then we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to chat with uh, Mr. Slade about all sorts of different things. I want to know how how you get from all the just amazing journey that you've been on. Holy smokes. We're going to get that after Duck Breath gear on the world famous Chicky Chick War Experience back here in a few moments.
Da, da, da. New titles are oh, now available on ePrintedBooks.com. <laughs> Explore a new bookstore with exclusives you won't find anywhere else. ePrintedBooks.com.